Hi, my name is Philipp Stangl and I want to be a National Geographic Certified Educator. I'm a middle school teacher in Radstadt, where I've been teaching for about nine years. Radstadt is a small town in Austria with a population of about 5,000 people. Our school has been rebuilt and reopened in 2017 and in this school year about 280 students attend our school. I decided to become a National Geographic Certified Educator because I think it is important to open my students' minds in our interconnected world. Because I had to take pictures and videos in our capstone project, this little guy will guide you through my capstone video. I hope you enjoy it. For my capstone project, I wanted my students to learn something about the pollution of the oceans through multiple perspectives and on various scales. When I was planning the project, I used the National Geographic Learning Framework and specified on which key attitudes, skills and knowledge I wanted to focus. The starting point for our project was an article in the magazine Topic. In German lessons students read the article and discussed it in class. It was very important for me that students make a personal connection to the topic, so we watched short video clips and looked at pictures of animals and parts of nature affected by plastic pollution. This really caused deep sorrow in us, so we did some research in groups to find out what we can do and change in our daily lifestyle to prevent plastic waste. We also had a look on how plastic reaches the ocean. In our research we found out that diapers contain small plastic parts which absorb liquids. In chemistry we experimented with the characteristics of this white granulate. The students ripped up a diaper, put the inner fleece in a plastic bag and gave it a good shake. After a few minutes, a white granulate could be found in the corner of the bag. We weighted the granulate and noted down how much was extracted from the fleece by every group. Then we mixed the granulate with 200 ml of water and observed how the water turned into gel. To make the gel even more visible, we took some red food coloring and colored 200 ml of water and poured it onto the diaper. After a while, we cut the diaper into two pieces to make the red gel visible and to verify if the whole 200 ml have been transformed into gel. The next step in our project was to connect and talk with real experts. While searching for a Skype lesson, I found the whales and dolphins conservation. The educational agent took her time to explain how plastic affects the ocean and the life of whales and dolphins. At the end of the presentation, my students had the opportunity to ask questions. This Skype lesson really made a big impression on my students, because they learned that even if they change small things in their daily routine, like using reusable bags instead of plastic bags, can really make a difference. After reading information about plastic pollution, watching videos, experimenting with plastic and Skyping with an expert, the last step was to transform our newly obtained knowledge in something creative. My students were asked to draw a picture which clearly shows how plastic pollution affects our oceans and the animals. 
the students collected some plastic waste at home and added it to their drawings. With this additional detail, the picture makes the beholder more concerned, because our daily waste is shown in the picture. While working on this project, my students learned a lot about the effects of plastic waste in the ocean and how we can help to reduce plastic waste, even if we are far away from the ocean. They also had the opportunity to talk to an expert, which was very impressive for them. I hope they enjoyed the project as much as I did. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.